Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with the Big Timber Lodge. <laughs> and I have something I want to talk to you about today. It's going to be the Bear Creek Arsenal BC15556 Upper. That is mil spec and you can put on any mil spec lower, such as this 300 blackout build that I currently have in front of me. But before I talk to you about this upper, I want to talk to you about why this might be a good option for you. Let's say because you watch a lot of YouTube videos and your favorite YouTube, you know, creators are talking about their favorite rifle is a 300 blackout. And so you find an awesome deal on one of these rifles. So you go ahead and you purchase it. And then all of a sudden you get the firearm, you're excited to start going to the range. And then you find out how much it costs to actually shoot it. Because let's be honest, 300 blackout ammunition is expensive, especially compared to its cheaper cousin, 5.56. It's kind of like a 19 year old buying a lifted Dodge Ram 3500, only to come to find out that it costs more money in gas and mechanic fees in the first year than what they actually paid for the truck themselves. So that's what we're going to equate this to. But luckily, if you have a mil spec built modern sporting rifle like the one in front of me, you have an option to swap out between the 300 blackout upper and let's say a 556 upper. Let's get into this. All right, so let's take a look at what comes in the box. Oh, looks like an upper to me. So this is going to be Bear Creek Arsenal's new BC-15 5.56 upper. So all that came in the box was this upper and a cool sticker that says Hammer Forged. Set the box to the side. Yoink! <laughs> now, one of the neat things about this upper is it doesn't have your traditional charging handle. Normally on like a modern sporting rifle, you do the V or the claw and you pull back to charge the firearm. Instead, it has a right side charging lever. So what you'll do is just literally hook onto this, pull back, and then it'll go forward. That's it. I'm excited to try out this design because I've talked about in the past, sometimes when you have an optic, let's say, that has poor eye relief and you have to set the optic so far back on the Picatinny rail that the rear bell of the scope is actually right above the charging handle and it makes it very difficult to get your hand below that scope to grab onto the charging handle, especially if you have gloves on. So what this will do, what this will do is actually eliminate that by having your charging handle over here on the right side, which will allow you to be able to use lower quality optics that have less eye relief. So starting with the front of the upper, we have the proprietary Bear Creek Arsenal flash hider. It's attached to a 16 inch 556 barrel that's inside of a 15 inch M-lock handguard. Now you'll notice on this M-lock handguard, there's plenty of slots and there's 1913 Picatinny rail on the front and the rear. And on the top, there are mounting holes that you can either mount more Picatinny rail to put more accessories or you can leave those holes open to help vent the heat from the barrel. Now moving back towards the bolt carrier group, you can see this is a proprietary bolt carrier group from Bear Creek Arsenal with this right side mounted charging lever. This works with your standard buffer assembly that you can find on any modern sporting rifle. Just like that, with a little movie magic and less than one minute off screen, I went from having a 300 blackout modern sporting rifle to now having a 5.56 with this really cool right-handed charging handle. I really like that. It also has the exact same black parkerized finish that the rest of the rifle has. So it matches and it's gonna look good at the range. I'm really excited to take this out and give it a shot. So make sure you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. Because when I bring you part two, I will be field testing this upper to let you know how well it works. So until next time, peace.